That's a good. Hey, well, what's well, a DS track? They always are good, right? It's a good track. Welcome back. Well, Waluigi Pinball specifically is like one of the best of across all of Mario Kart. It is a good one. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't like that stupid pinball. It griefs me. <laughs> oh, and you don't know how to drive. Yeah, I don't know man. how to drive around it. Oh, come on, Lee. You're one short. Yeah, he is. And Some Roy's too strong. I just used Roy to kill an archer. There's a brand new track that was designed for Tor, but they haven't released it in oh, Tor yet, so they're listing it as a brand new track. Oh. It's all it's an ice cream level, and it's got anti-grab, and the phone games does it, get anti-grab when they introduce that track. Does it have um, Al Creamy from Pokemon? No. That's a shame. Yes. You're crazy. True. You're crazy. Who, me? Yeah, I would. Why? I would just two round an iron. What the heck? We said Vance Reaver. I <laughs> waste all the good weapons for what? Is that cringe or what? That was cringe. He wasn't even gonna direct! <laughs> oh my Dude. god. Uh, you're right. Kid. I just like one rounding things. Oh my um, god. Alexander can now tank a little. He can take a hit Kid if Ellis. you want to bring him up. I'll just get him closer. Yeah, he can take one hit. It's because there was three archers that shot him. Yeah. Kit Ellis from formerly Nintendo uh, Minute yeah. before they left Nintendo. Yeah. He has a bunch of sealed games that are worth huge amounts of money. He has a completely sealed uh, Pokemon like Soul Silver or Heart Gold, one of the two. Yeah. Sealed with the Pokewalker. That's a huge amount of money. Yeah. That's some crazy stuff. I don't even have a sealed game. I open them all. I also don't want to spend the money on a sealed game. No. Those are expensive. He's got a few other sealed games, but that was like one of the most... One, uh, what happens if I do this? I don't want to accidentally break the game, but yeah. that's really weird. That's because you know you're normally not supposed to have access to those. Maybe you can use the heal 50 HP. Oh, that's cheating. The falchion lets you heal 10. Alright. So we're just kind of waiting here. For Ling to wake that ass up, how much she got? One turn left. All according to plan. Taro, what's up with that guy? Man, he's an admin. I don't know what the issue is. He's weird. It's weird me out. But whatever. At least he's coming to his death. Nah, he heal a lot. Yeah. Oh! She's awake. You can finally do your steel shenanigans in that room. But Link you might want to wait up. for that Axeman to come down here. Yeah, I'm going to kill him first. He's hostile as hell. What's, what's he got? He's literally breaking down doors. Yeah, Actually, wait. Check his weapon. It's a Dark Slayer. Yeah. No, check it again real quick. I didn't see some. So, the Dark Slayer lets you open doors because it's using its durability to open doors. <laughs> we figured it out, Tyler! What? Uh, the Dark Slayer lets you open doors because it's using durability <laughs> to open the doors. Okay. Dark Slayer's his door key, shoves an axe. Oh, maybe he's yeah. caboose. I love, it. I love modding because you find out all these weird quirks with your dumb game. Well, it sounds like you put that <laughs> weapon over a key or something. I, no, I just added an empty slot. I guess <laughs> there's on, on the bottom. You, uh, you, what's up with his left, his right eye? Well, left from our view. Uh, so he's, a, he's a dragon, so he can look scary, okay? But that's weird because it doesn't add up because he opened three doors, but only has 11 of 15. I don't know. I don't know, uh, maybe not, maybe, maybe it's... Maybe he opened a fourth door you don't know about. Yeah, maybe he opened a fourth door he just off in nowhere land when I was, like, yeah, worried. Yeah, he opened a fourth gate. At least it's not a chest key fourth and he's gate. opening chests with the freaking... I just imagine yeah. him smashing the door down. Enough. You talking about Stranger Things? Yes. Um, I'm gonna be a nerd. She loves her Stranger Things now that she's watched the whole... Vecna's it's evil really man. What if Johanna, the final boss in this game, drew changed it to Vecna from Stranger Things? Vecna. <laughs> he's just he's got kind of bad defense for his I level. I think he'd fit. Yeah. yeah. I think he'd I mean, fit. He's just, yeah. He would fit in a fire. Roy would stab his abs. He would fit in a game that has monsters in it. Yeah, for eight. Roy's does. game does not. For well, eight, it would be good. Dragons are like. I wouldn't count dragons as monsters. Well, they're the closest thing because they're I'd wait for him to come to you. Yeah. Well, he has that healer there. That healer's gonna shoot you. I'm gonna wait here one more turn. Yeah, I would wait. Uh, as for this team... Fire was kinda weird. Does Laura like that kind of stuff, Brandon? Huh? Does she like sci-fi and horror? Who, Laura? Yeah. Does she like that kind of stuff? Well, it's kinda like a mixture. It's not like super gore. Hey! It's kinda hard to pin down what she likes. She's... 
kind of like, I don't know. I don't think she likes sci-fi. Sci-fi is kind of iffy for me too. It has to be really good. Yeah. Like I, this. This is really good. She doesn't really like cyberpunk really either, mm -hmm. but she likes Stray, even though Stray is kind of like cyberpunk. So I, I don't know. I think, I think there's not a theme she likes. I think she's just on a step-by-step -step basis of what she right. likes. Yeah, like, know. if the show itself is good enough, she'll put up with it if it's medieval, because she hates medieval, but she watched that one that was done by the Simpsons guy. Um, Matt oh, Grinning. the same with Futurama? Yeah, that, that, you know, they did that one medieval show yes. with the girl and the little, like, imp guy. Yes. She watched that, and that's medieval, but she doesn't like medieval. So, I don't know, I think it's, for her, it's very she has to watch basis. It pretty much. Yeah. That makes sense. Some people... She just doesn't really have a theme that she goes with, I don't think. But if I had to pick one that she leans on, it'd be like... I don't know. The one theme, quote-unquote, was like... Creepy, yeah, creepy pastas, like modern, I guess? Bastard. Punk-ass idiot. But I don't know. I really don't know. It's very hard to pin down. Oh, are you serious? Someplace opened up... A Burger Trump, Trump burger! Trump burger. Yeah! Trump. Is that real? I gotta eat it! I gotta eat yeah. it! It's up my order! Oh, you should take your mom there. Yeah. yeah. I'm not trying to... Who's the best burger <laughs> she ever? I'm not trying it. to throw shade at your mom. Yeah, she'd be like, oh, that's a bitch. She likes Trump burger. I think she would... I think she would go there, honestly. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I mean, oh, come on. I'm not even gonna go there. Hey, Mario, you wanna slap his ass? Yeah. What was I gonna say? He looks pretty cool, though. He looks almost like Hawkeye. It's scary. But it's they're scary. Right? making a season five Tyler in a couple of years. Yeah. I heard. Kill the nut class. The show is doing well. They definitely showed they want to do more with the way they ended. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know it's a show. A season five coming. You know it's a show that you guys watched all the way through that's coming back. Futurama. Oh yeah. The creator said they're making a whole oh, new yeah, season. Oh yeah, did. Yeah, and people asked, "Is this like a reboot?" And they said, "Nope, this is a continuation of the." Because the way it ended was. Not like, you know. Yeah, the show's just gonna keep satisfying. going. No, I like that show. That show's pretty good. Have you seen it before? Did I get you into that one too? It was you. Ow. That's so funny. I've yeah. seen like an episode here and there before, but I didn't actually like watch it. Yeah, that's how I am. I've seen oh, a couple yeah. episodes, but I haven't like sat down to watch. You're pretty lucky, so not funny ring. Because you got me into that '70s show on The Office. Yeah, Office now, is pretty good. Now it's the my heck? turn. <laughs> George Boyd. They brought back Calamari Desert, except for the that was my favorite '64 track. Well, no, here's the deal, though. Every lap is a different. It takes a different path. So I'm not sure how that's gonna be. Is that one... even Calamari Desert at this point? Because it used to be just a figure eight, basically. Well, like, like a big apparently one though. of the laps they make you go on the train tracks through the tunnel. One of the laps, but I have no idea what the last lap would be. That's the only. You can go way happens. on the edge of the desert. I know. <laughs> Is he gonna show the sand parting, and then there's gonna be a driving path on the third? <laughs> yeah, <it's my> <laughs> banjo. <sighs> That's weird, dude. I don't know. Well, we'll see, gamers. I yeah, will see. I saw someone hurt. You're okay. fine. You're, never mind. Do uh, I think you mean squirting. Squirting? Any superpower. Any first squirting. Would you want, would you want to have telekinesis? No, 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 no. <laughs> what a man. Lady? Super strength or super speed? I'll take... I would throw a mind reading instantly. Asshole! The I'm two asleep. that I'm torn between are strength and telekinesis. But I think I'd probably go with telekinesis. You can do some crazy stuff with that. I know, I really like that too. Alright. And the thing with telekinesis is it doesn't really, like, harm you yourself. Like, if you have super strength, you kind of got to have other stuff to make sure you don't accidentally tear your body apart. If you're lifting something that's really heavy and you overgauge your own strength, you might accidentally crush yourself because you overexerted yourself. That's not going to happen. With, uh, with telekinesis. That's why we save stay. Throws the game. I can throw Drew across the room for uh, use your spear the game. again or something. With our spear mind. has become, our spear has become the way to what deal with think? game breaking freezes. Yep. Johanna. I did telekinesis too. Hey, that was good. Good job, Lloyd. I want to do mind reading. I don't want to know what's on other people's brains. 
Yeah. I'm, I'm taking. Yeah, because right now I'm thinking about Tyler shirtless. That's yeah. That's like, Mind that's, reading. That's when you find out that someone's thinking about you in ways you wish you didn't know. Mind, yeah, mind reading is weird. If you want to use it to, f like, let's just say there's other super villains, super crime. Yeah. The only way you can use it to fight them is if you still have enough physical capability to deal with what they're gonna do. If you can yeah. read their mind, they're gonna throw a punch at light speed if they have like super speed or something. Yeah, you gotta what are you gonna do? You're like, oh, he's gonna throw a punch at light speed. Uh, and you, dodge. Can, uh. you you can warn others. Yeah, but, I guess, but that that ain't gonna stop the man from raising the village. Nope. Basically. Yeah. I think I like super speed, but super strength's good. Super Telekinesis is good. Super another one where you gotta have other abilities to make sure that you can see where you're going and you don't crash. I'm assuming, My though, that you infinite have, swag. I'm assuming that you just have all that stuff. <laughs> if I, if uh, I get super speed, I'm assuming... That the, the super speed also gives me super reflexes because I can move my body and yeah. the time it takes my body to react also has you know speed with my I neurons so I would assume that. it would I speed that, would that up. I think speed overall is just more useful than strength. No, because like if you fight with a bladed weapon and you're faster, you're just you're gonna cut them. <laughs> you, and if they're fighting you, you're not gonna get hit, also, so you don't need to be strong yeah, to tank. Also, if you're gonna fight fit. Uh, just hand to hand if they can't hit you because you move fast enough And speed semi comes with strength because you use that momentum. Yeah to hit hard Like if I'm running at you at like light speed and like I just punch you you're get you're you're just gone You're you're done. Yeah, like in, in real life if you're doing like sword fighting the person that can move faster Is the one who's got the advantage yep. strength doesn't really matter strength only matters in that uh, grapple if you get to grapple distance grappling and you know you can probably use a longer weapon if you have the strength to, to actually hold a, a longer heavier weapon yeah typically if you can, if you can move fast you're gonna just break that range anyway yeah. You're just gonna be like, nope, you're in. What you want is a good range ratio for speed. Oh you got crit! <laughs> I might lose now Oh my god. Like knife? Yep, I got totally. Yep, I got. You the got biggest, creamed. I got the biggest peony in my butt. Like a knife. Tyler, remember, Drew said this might be the easiest map yet. Uh, that was just bad luck. That's not even the map. But fault. I've had to reset a couple times too. I think last map was actually easier. A knife is faster than a sword, but the range difference is too little for that. Okay. But if you got so much speed, you just run. With the dagger, and they're, they're done. I was watching Stranger Things. I'm taking the Stranger Things. Yeah. If I got to pick any superpower, it would be teleportation. But of those ones, Johanna said speed is my next my next guess. If I were to pick from all teleportation's powers, OP. If I were to pick from all powers, I'd be pyrokinesis. I love fire, baby. Teleportation. What do you OP. do with that besides be criminalized for being an arsonist, Tyler? I'm be another yeah. nerd, okay. If I burn people who are gonna commit not crimes, they can't do crimes. Whoa. If That's I can tyranny. control fire, I can work as a firefighter and take away the fire and push it somewhere else. You can eat it. Tyler. <laughs> weapon of choice. Sword. Sword. To fight a Demogorgon. Spike bat, a good trap, a shotgun, or electric taser. My well, like God, shoddy is broken. Shotgun's the strongest, <laughs> but the electric tasers in that show were freaking cool. I'll take the electric. My table. favorite styled one is the bat, but if I'm being honest, I'm taking a shoddy. <laughs> I'm just taking a shoddy for that body, you know what I'm like saying, bro? Military grade, like yeah, you should have seen have you seen that show at all? No, I haven't seen so that. So imagine show. like a full length, like freaking huge, it's like this long, and it's a, a super high powered electric laser on the end. You just stab things, just shock them to hell. Oh god. <laughs> I like those. Shotgun would be better because shoddy, it's yeah. long range. But need the I love for the those thotty. You didn't get crit? Oh, this yes. isn't the guy. It was the axe I reaver. Yep, I got out of his, his range. Take your hand off. What about you, Drew? Yeah. What? Of well, the shotgun four. seems the most effective. Yeah, right? shotgun yeah. says. Well, one of them was what? A well laid trap? Alright, in the next episode, well, I'm going to kill more stuff. They, they, they trap might not be bad because they, they said well laid. Yeah, good trap.